So, uh, who are you? Um, I'm Aaron Levy, the CEO and co-founder of Box.net. And this morning, you're announcing? Um, we are announcing an all-new version uh, of Box.net. And uh, we're also announcing some things around openness and mobility um, that we think are going to be really, really critical to our strategy going forward um, in, in terms of introducing an all-new kind of enterprise software experience for the world. And who um, are you seeing with? So this is... Uh, Florian. Yeah. So I'm the engineer working on uh, uh, the new version and notably uh, some new cool features. Very cool. And we're going to get a demo of that. That's why I turn on the camera. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. So... so uh, Tell me the first new feature that we're going to see, the first new uh, ch major change. You've had a billboard up on Highway 101, but, you know, touting this uh, coming launch yep. for a while. So yep. Yeah, we'll, show me some goods. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll show you something super exciting. So we've uh, we've had a billboard up for about 20 days now, um, really uh, really driving home that there's absolutely a, a major launch happening with Box on on January 20th. Um, we think that today. Um, enterprise software is too complex, too cumbersome, too slow, uh, too unusable, and we're kind of doing our part to, to essentially make things simpler for the enterprise. And more specifically, we want people to be able to share and manage their business information as easily as possible. So if you think about what SharePoint does for businesses today, um, we want to do something like that, but, but much simpler, much more powerful, much more open, much more collaborative. Um, and, uh, and we want this to be something that any business can use. And so we're really excited about what we're going to be introducing. And we, we think our 5 million users are going to be very excited about that. Um, 5 we think million users. 5 million users, yeah. Crazy. Congrats. So thank you. So we're really excited about the, the level of scale that this application has reached. And uh, we're excited that, that enterprises are going to you know, start to have a, a completely new way that they can share information. Let's see it. Cool. So um, I'm just logged into... Uh, can pull it yeah. Closer to me? Cool. There you go. So I'm actually logged into a, a demo account right now. Uh, and what we wanted to show you is um, is essentially one of the new pieces of functionality in our new interface um, that we've been working extremely hard on for the past couple of months. And uh, this new, um, new this new functionality allows Box to operate in more of a real time uh, kind of format. And so the technology that you're sim that uh, you might be familiar with from FriendFeed or Facebook um, is being applied in the back end. And we can talk a little about the kind of the, it's the tornado uh, open source technology that you guys are using. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so I know that well because I was a friend, number one friend feed user for a while, and uh, they they open sourced the technology. And I, so show it to me because eh, this is cool. cool stuff. And we'd love to talk about more about it on the tech yeah. side. But uh, so the idea is anything that's happening within your box that's going to be relevant to you as a as a collaborator, we want to be able to show you in real time. So I'm just in my box.net account. This is all the content that I have access to. Okay. Florian is on a different computer, um, and uh, and he's going to be doing some actions. Um, as a collaborator that I'm working with. So he actually, sorry, we just missed it, but uh, yep. he actually just added me to the marketing team folder. And so yeah. I can actually click it, and I'm going to be able to jump directly into the marketing team folder. And so, so now I'm in the same space as Florian, yeah. um, and he updated this in, in real time. And so Florian is actually, yep, Florian, another one. Yep, Florian just activated a link uh, for hiring. So that means that this is now a, a shared folder, and I can mouse over it. It says Florian activated a link for hiring. Uh, and Florian's going to do uh, do another change, so watch very closely. But um, uh, Florian just actually changed the the title of this file, um, so he renamed the press release from PR release to PR release 2011. So so any kind of um, low level action that happens on the application, we want to be able to show you instantly. And this is going to be the really exciting one. So let's say I'm in the same folder um, as uh, as Florian. And, um, and he is going to actually drag in a file from his box.net account. Um, and uh, in, in just a second, it lights up and it says Florian Jorda um, updated roadmap Q1. And so yeah. if I click on, and mouse over, it says Florian uploaded roadmap Q1. I can actually click into the hiring folder and I'm going to see the latest version of that file. Um, I don't know if you want to upload a file directly into this folder while we're in it together. Um, but uh, now, what what does this let you do in a corporation? Why, yeah. why do we need this kind of real time speed? Why, why? You know, I worked at Microsoft. We would email things, wait a couple hours, and you know, send them back. And we, we, why do we need this kind of real timeness? We, we think that. Um, we, we think that the speed at which business is moving and the, the way in which we want to collaborate together, um, we need faster technology that, is, uh, that keeps us up to date with our information much better than ever before. So the implications are that if multiple people are working together, some of the kinds of experiences that we initially saw with Wave, yeah. but now applied into a much more business-focused application, um, we think can, can move business 
forward way faster, we think can actually keep people up to date um, way more and, and way better than ever before. So you can be working on projects with people at the same time, logged in just through the web, um, and, uh, and have this uh, complete online experience where you're able to collaborate with anyone. So you can have partners that are outside your organization that you're working with, you can have people inside your company that you're able to work with, and we can share and collaborate on information um, in real time. And we think that's an incredibly powerful experience that we think is going to be pervasive across any enterprise software. Are we going to get notification overload? Because, you know, I'm using Quora and, uh, and Facebook and other play things. Yeah. And I'm almost getting this uh, overload of notifications of things that are going on in real time. Yep. You know, if you watch my screens at home, you <laughs> see Twitter just streaming well, down the screen in 24 hours a day. Right? Uh, you probably already know this, but you're an extreme user of, of internet services that notify you. No, yes. I, I don't, I don't so. know if anybody, if anybody told you that, but uh, the <laughs> amount of limits that you've broken on people's websites are <laughs> probably indicative of that. But um, I think that, so in our particular case, what we're notifying users about are things that are extremely relevant to them and their job function. So um, these aren't things that you might be interested in. These are actions and activity updates that are critical to what you're doing in a project or in your business. Um, and so we think in our specific case, the notifications are, are really critical and relevant to what you're doing. Um, that said, I think we are kind of living in a world with a lot of notifications and a lot of information. Um, and uh, I actually think, um, uh, ironically, I think Technology is a solution to that. Um, as we have better filtering, as we have better relevancy, um, I think we'll, we'll start to see you know, way more signal in, in the noise. Um, and I think that's, that's important. But in, you know, I think we're fortunate that in our application, people want to be shared with in real time yeah. um, because it's data that's critical to I, getting their job done. I imagine that it helps solve another kind of noise, which is, let's say the three of us were on a Skype call. I can actually see that you opened up my PowerPoint slide and are accessing it. And yep. if you're not, I can ask you what's going. You know, why haven't you opened up that slide deck yet? You know, totally. So what we're seeing actually, it's it's uh, it's quite interesting. What we're seeing in, in even just Silicon Valley is investment uh, firms, venture capital firms, will use Box to centralize all of the kind of. Um, uh, pitches and uh, co uh, company and corporate material that is being shared with them, right, in, in, a, in, a, in a private and secure way. Um, and so what will happen is somebody will upload a presentation and another partner at that firm will say, oh, I know somebody at that company, or oh, are you looking into that business? And instantly, you're starting to see some serendip serendipitous collaboration happen, because these aren't the kinds of things that you would normally email out to your whole company about. Um, and so we're starting to see that, that through better notification, through better visibility, through more consumer-like approaches, to information, visibility, and sharing, um, there's a lot of really kind of cool productivity gains that happen in the enterprise and in businesses. Now, if somebody uh, uploads a new PowerPoint that's uh, a derivative of an yep. existing one, does it notify everybody who was using that slide deck to say, oh, there was a, there's a new version of the slides of the quarter one sales? Here. Yep, so absolutely. There's a, there's a new version, and we show you a little, um, I don't know how long it would take me to find an example file that yeah. has that, but um, it will actually tell you what version you're on. So as you're looking at the, the file, you'll be able to instantly go back to any version that, that previously existed, um, and uh, and we show you that right away directly on top of the content. Cool. Um, so uh, so it's really important to us and really important to our users that you always know what is relevant about what you're looking at, um, and uh, and that's actually one of the other features that we were showing you earlier in terms of being able to look at content and see all the other re relevant content right next to it. Yeah. Um, that's uh, a really kind of important direction for us. F Florian. Uh, you're one of the few companies that's used the uh, ter Tornado uh, open source library. How was that? What was that process like? Is it a good library that other companies should consider? Uh, it was very, very smooth. Um, very easy to, uh, to start playing with. And uh, for now, we are very, very glad with it. We are going to see how it uh, works when we have millions of users using it, yeah. uh, or the scalability of it. But much bigger sites are using it, so uh, we are very confident with this technology. Very cool. Yeah. So what else? What else is in this new release? Uh, we covered the real time. This what called, else? called the real, real time. Um, we uh, another major kind of part of this release, and, and again the, the kind of um, huge uh, the, the the huge focus of this release is a complete sort of uh, redesign of the application to make it much easier to use Box, um, much easier to share information, much more visibility around the content that you're sharing. So everything was kind of redesigned from the ground up to do that, as well as 
the whole front end of the application was rebuilt and recoded from scratch to, to enable that. And so, um, so we've actually made it a much more efficient application and, and something that we can develop on much more easily going forward. So now, before the camera turn on, you you told me you're noticing a lot of iPads show up at enterprises. Yep. Is this all designed to work on the iPad? So uh, this will work. Uh, this will work on on the iPad um, in a, obviously a, in, in mobile experiences that have a larger form factor. Um, in that particular case, in terms of the the growth that we've seen in mobile, has been specifically around our iPad application. Um, we have uh, a leading kind of business app in the iPad uh, directory, and we're seeing a lot of businesses enable remote workforces, remote salespeople, marketing teams, executive teams that need to be able to work from any mobile device at any time and be able to pull down their information very easily. Um, the iPads and, and overall kind of tablet and smartphone experience is absolutely changing the enterprise today. Oh, yeah. um, and this is, a, this is a very different landscape than the mobile space five years ago. Um, and so there's a lot of enabling uh, factors that go into cloud growth, um, really amazing mobile applications that are being built for the enterprise, and, and uh, we're really excited to be a part of that. Back to the simplicity, uh, can you give me one example of something that you, you guys changed that m makes life m dramatically better for sure. your customers? Sure. Sure. So we, we looked at we looked at kind of how people were using Box, and we really wanted to um, we, we really wanted to update the the overall experience to focus on the core elements of, of Box that that mattered to our users. Um, the, the content area is bigger. Yeah. So in this particular case, we we actually expanded the overall viewability of, of content on Box. We're giving a lot more real estate to view your information. So if you're looking at a PowerPoint file, if you're looking at a Word document, a PDF, you want to consume that information, add comments on top of that that uh, data, or share it out to other people. We want to give you more space and more options to do that. Um, another really cool thing, and this is more of a roadmap that uh, that we're going to be pushing on throughout the year, um, but something we're launching with uh, in, in the near term is showing you other re relevant content. Um, to, yeah. the, to the information that you're looking at. And so as you're viewing documents in your box, we're going to show you other files that might be related to the file that you're looking at. And so now, how do you know that it's related? Because it, in enterprise, there's not a lot of linking going on. Right. You know, that's a hard problem to solve. Yeah, so, so for today, we're, we're relying on, on very kind of basic meta information. So today we're showing you files that, that are in the same folder um, as to what you're sharing. And so we think there's a lot of relevancy to navigate across files very quickly. Um, in the future, especially if you think about somebody doing a search on Box um, and then loading up a file in a piece, uh, a piece of information, we can actually scan across your whole Box account and show you other relevant data to what you're looking at today. And so that's, that's sort of where we want want to go directionally and where we think this type of technology allows us to do and really what this redesign um, opens us up in terms of new opportunities for, for the application. Mm -hmm. So dramatic redesign of the website, um, making sure to overhaul the, the complete site to focus on simplicity uh, and scalability of the service, way more real estate for, for really kind of running your business and, and working with all of your content. I know it's the top bars. Quite a bit different. It yep. looks nicer and it's more open, like you said. Yeah, it's it's a way more open experience. It, it's a, a way more kind of focus on the core activities and parts of the application. We're actually going to be uh, introducing a much more expanded applications tab, um, really kind of moving into an apps marketplace model. So that way, when you store data once on Box, you can actually take it anywhere. Um, and people or customers are already doing that today. Um, but we really want to uh, enable completely new kinds of use cases. Use cases that work. Yes, yeah, sorry. Are you testing this with customers, and how, how are they reacting to the, the new changes that are coming? Yeah, so it, it's extremely early. So actually, on January twentieth is going to be uh, the first period that we're actually working with with live customers on. We wanted to make this a, a really um, big announcement for even our, our our kind of most excited customers, um, and so we're going to be rolling the application out to new users, um, very similar to how you've seen the new Facebook uh, and new Twitter rollout. People will be able to choose to change over, um, but we're going to have a, a couple month process um, till you really kind of have. To, to, to move over to the new version just so we can collect feedback, make sure the application is working the, the way we want it. And so um, this is a, 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 a style much more consistent with consumer applications and enterprise software. Um, and that's simply because we think that there's uh, way better ways to deliver enterprise um, software to our customers. One of the things you mentioned, you're making this release more open. How is that? Uh, how are you making it more open? Um, it's, it's by really focusing on our application sort of marketplace and, and uh, overall directory experience um, that will better surface applications that you can use in conjunction with Box. 
So the, uh, the only way we can succeed is if you can solve all of your problems around your business data. So once you store information on Box, we want to make it really, really easy for you to open up this content into other applications. So you might be a, sales, uh, a Salesforce or a NetSuite customer. You might be using NetSuite to manage your ERP, but you might be using Box to manage your marketing contact, content and your contracts uh, and your sales materials. And if you can link that information up from Box to your ERP, you can create a much more consistent and seamless experience across your business applications. Um, the, uh, a similar example is if you're looking at Box, if you're on Box Box.net and you're working on a contract and you want to get it digitally signed by a partner, you might launch into something like EchoSign uh, or DocuSign where you can then get a digital signature directly from Box through a partner application. And so in 2011, we're going to be really focused on enabling a, a whole ecosystem of developers, of partners, of channel and service providers that can build interesting value on top of Box. So you guys are going to have external hack days then? So you, you encourage people to try out APIs and your SDKs and stuff like that? Or? Um, are you interested in participating? I'm not a coder. Uh, okay. All right. um, uh, I have some friends though. Okay. Uh, send them our way. We're, uh, we're really focused on, on opening up this up to the broader ecosystem. So I, I expect we'll have some um, some ways that, to encourage the developer ecosystem um, and even interesting ways we might be able to you know, stimulate interesting development on, on the platform. So um, announcements to come on that front, but uh, we're really excited with, with what could happen um, once more uh, business applications be built uh, are built on top of Box and, and frankly, more open business applications that are, that are built on top of a lot of these open platforms. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the business. Okay, I've sure. been coming and visiting you for, I don't know, three or four years now, and every time I come back, it's like the, the size of your business has doubled. We've, so, uh, yeah. So what's going, is, has that continued? Yeah, so actually we went from 65 employees at the beginning of last year to uh, we ended the year with about 123 uh, new employees. So uh, pretty significant growth. I think that's um, really a testament to the market. Um, the kind of macro factors of people want to work way faster. They want to work uh, with may, way more people. They want to be able to work in the cloud. Um, they don't want to have as much legacy software and systems within their business. And um, and we're just seeing a lot of a, a lot of the, the growth benefits from executing very well against those kind of market trends. Yeah. And um, and so uh, so we've seen about three and a half x enterprise growth. Um, that's exciting. Um, we uh, we hit five million users. That, that's extremely exciting. Uh, you know we're starting to work with. When you started this, did you have any clue? You're gonna get here. Um, I, I I just needed like I just needed beer money at the time, but uh, <laughs> uh, that's. Maybe we might, might, might want to edit that one, but uh, <laughs> um, uh, no. I mean, when we started Box, it was very obvious that that there are absolutely better ways that people could manage their information and share their their content. What we didn't quite realize at the time was that every business in the world was having that same problem. Um, and I think that the direction that we've gone in the past two to three years by really, really focusing, and that's really the time frame we've been talking regularly, really focusing on the enterprise experience, um, uh, has has contributed and kind of really created that that growth and that opportunities because. Most enterprise software companies um, have still taken a very traditional approach to, to solving business problems. You kind of deliver a piece of software, you put it on premise, you have a lot of infrastructure that you manage, and then you update that software two or three years later. Maybe you send some patches in the process um, uh, in the meantime. And with Box, we operate uh, very much like a consumer internet company, um, but specifically focused on the enterprise. So we release the site every single week. That means every single week there are updates, improvements, usability enhancements, and often completely new functionality and, and features. Now I worked at Microsoft, I, you know, the, the team that they are used to shipping every two years, every 18 months, right. something like that. Right. Um, are, are you sensing that they're feeling threatened yet by you? Because your numbers now are getting to the point where, oh, the box is 5 million users. Wow. Well, <laughs> we, we try to make it very clear to them. When it was 100,000, they can ignore you. Yeah. Know? When it's 5 million, they got to start paying attention, right? We, uh, we, we, we have some uh, funny email exchanges with various folks here and there, but, uh, but overall, I think they're, they're a little bit insulated in Redmond. They, they're kind of, they have their sort of, and, and they're trying to figure out the mobile strategy and all these kind of things. So we actually like that they're pretty distracted as an organization right now. Um, we, uh, we're going to stay super focused on this one kind of singular enterprise value proposition, and I think it's, I think it's working out you know, pretty well for us. But uh, um, uh, we ultimately, um, uh, I, think, uh, I think ultimately we're just trying to build the, the best possible experience for, for businesses, right, and, yeah. and create the, the best way that they can manage their information. Tell me how you get the innovations into your product, because that's an interesting example where where bigger companies just aren't, still aren't thinking along these lines. But. Well, one, one funny example actually on the SharePoint side. So, so right now, um, there's the latest version of SharePoint is SharePoint 2010, right? So you're already now, a, your, your, your technology is already a year old, right, if you're on SharePoint, and the next version is going to be SharePoint 2013 or 2015 or, you know, some distant kind of future type of thing. Um, 
So our ability to move and adapt in real time is, is a, a major competitive advantage and something that's very different in the enterprise space. Yeah. Um, one thing that we do to kind of force, as a forcing function, to make sure we're always constantly waking up to the newest ideas that, that we can find in our organization. Um, we have hackathons um, every three to five months or so, um, and it's really an opportunity. It's something model off of some leading kind of consumer internet companies. It's uh, it's an opportunity to for essentially nearly 16 hours of development. Um, every engineer in Box gets to choose any any feature, any new function that they want to be able to to uh, to build. Um, and it has, it doesn't have to do anything with our strategy. It doesn't have to do anything with with uh, what, where we're trying to go. Um, and uh, and that's really when you can start to see some completely new types of innovations, um, you know, happen on Box. And, and the Florian, you built this uh, on one of those hack days, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, on the hackathon we had uh, on in December. Yeah. Yeah. So you built this all over overnight, drinking pizza and. Uh, <laughs> You know, drinking Diet Coke and pizza? Yeah, exactly. And pizza? Yeah, I'm using as many hacks as possible. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one of the requirements. And then what you do is you spend three months productionizing yeah. um, what you what you Cleaning built. up all the mistakes because you <laughs> yeah. didn't get any sleep. <laughs> exactly. Are you guys working like on an Eric Reese kind of model? You know, the, the, the lean startup kind of thing? What, tell me it's, it's some of your philosophies of running teams here. We, um, it's, we're very lean on a, on a team basis. Um, we have the, the person who has, uh, has led up the whole sort of V5 creation, Kimber, um, is, uh, is an engineering manager at Box. She actually was the, the CEO of, of the company that produced this content previewing technology um, that we acquired about a year and a half ago. And, uh, and she pulled together a, a team of four or five folks and, and really just come from scratch dramatically redesigned the whole application. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, and so we, we do operate on that model, small teams getting big things done. Um, and it's really cool because we have we have teams of two or three engineers building functionality that tens of thousands of businesses um, are going to use a week later, um, and it's uh, it's really exciting. And and the kind of reward and gratification you get for doing that is just way different than traditional enterprise software, where you know we we hear stories of people from Oracle or Microsoft where you're building something in an R and D lab that you're basically going to wait five years till the public sees this because it has to go through marketing, it has to go through productionization, it has to go through shipping, distribution, channels. It has to go through all the vendors um, before it actually gets used by end users. And then imagine after that whole process, then you get a feedback loop from users. Um, and in, in our environment, we're getting feedback loops from users within within a couple of minutes when the, yeah. when the site gets the, the latest version of code. Um, and so uh, I think these are philosophies that, that um, are not unique to Box, but they're unique in the enterprise space. And I think we're going to start to see them more and more throughout the whole kind of enterprise landscape. Very cool. Where do we learn more about about the new release? Yeah, so uh, just visit our homepage um, after one o'clock on uh, on January twentieth, uh, and uh, www.box.net will have some information about the the new launch. Box.net slash simple will have some more information about our development philosophies and and what we're up to. But uh, really, really excited. Again, this is going to start out as a beta, opening it up for for current users that want to switch their account over, collect a lot of feedback, kind of roll it out. But more, I think most importantly. Um, you know the three key things for this year um, are really building a much simpler product for every kind of customer, um, uh, openness and letting you get to your data from anywhere, and then finally mobility, being able to work from anywhere. And so um, this this new version of Box is going to really kind of dramatically simplify, I think, the, the whole experience of enterprise software. Are you guys hiring? We are. We are. So um, we cannot. So you're going to double again this year? Um, it might not be a year, but maybe it'll be uh, a year plus a couple months. But uh, we are we are super focused on hiring the absolute best engineers people in sales, uh, in, in marketing, um, and so we have a lot of great open recs. Go to boxnet slash uh, careers uh, or slash jobs. One of those URLs will, will send you to the right place. Um, that's a little hiring test if you can make it to the page. Yep. Um, but uh, <laughs> um, uh, but uh, we're absolutely growing, and, and we're super excited to bring people that are passionate about innovating in the enterprise. Very cool. Well, cool. thanks for showing this, man. Thanks, Robert. Congrats for the like, success. Oh, thank you so much. It's, it's really great to see a company just grow up like this. It's, it's quite fun. So, uh, so yep, uh, we, uh, we, we appreciate your time.